I never thought I would end up in a situation like this. After all, I'm just your everyday beatboxing robot. I wasn't cut out for this level of adventure. I was created in a lab by a very nice man, a scientist, but not just a normal scientist. He was a musician, not a very popular one, or very good. He was passionate, but not very talented, and he never really gained any traction. <sighs> I think I blew it. It's okay, honey. I'm proud of you. And so is he. <laughs> Hopefully he grows up to be better than his old man, huh? And with a baby on the way, he decided to change his career paths. He studied science, some kind of fancy engineering. He wanted to build a robot that could make music far better than he ever could. Daddy! I want to play catch! Maybe in a few minutes. I just have to weld these parts. We well, said that an hour ago! I want to play now! Honey, could you play catch with him? You know, he's your son too. You really ought to spend more time with him. I will. I'm finished. Well, seems like you're never finished. Just let me keep working. Fine. Dinner's at six. I'll just eat in here. He was really committed to his work. One day he looked up from his desk and he realized his family was gone. He'd become so obsessed with making this robot that he neglected the real people in his life. You think that would teach him a lesson, but instead he threw himself even further into this project. I don't need them anyway, just a distraction. Looks like it's just you and me, and that's fine. When I'm finished with this robot, it'll be like they never even mattered. I started off small, but he wouldn't stop there. He got better and better at building and started to make real progress. Yes, everything is going according to plan. At this rate, my Wubbox will be complete within the year. Within a few months, even. But he came to a road bump that same day. Huh? What's going on? His creation had a lot of potential, but never a strong enough power source. It could only run for a few seconds, but never consistently. Darn it! Work! Ah! All of this work for nothing? I lost my family. I lost my music. I have to keep working. I cannot fail. It finally hit him. He was alone in the world, but he decided there was no problem that couldn't be solved with science. It's okay. It's okay. I know exactly what to do. He began to build something bigger, more complex, more human. He had created me, the final form of Wubox in all my glory. It's... it's beautiful. Now let's see if it works. Right arm? Good. Left leg? Excellent. And now for the real test. Making music. Sing, my creation! He set the generator to its highest power. Something dangerous for the both of us. Come on! Work! Work! He electrocuted himself and... He died. Of course I was just a robot. I wanted to save him, but I couldn't. I simply had to stand there and watch it happen. I'll never forget it. The horror. But then, something miraculous happened. In the end, his death... gave me life. It seems that when he died, the energy of his human soul transferred into me. Finally, a source great enough to power me. I was overjoyed. I knew he would be happy that his death meant something in the end. But now, I was the one who was all alone. So, I decided all I could do was venture off to find others like myself. My journey was long and hard at times. All I wanted to do was give up. Then, at last, I finally found a similar form of life. Bum, bum, bum. Musicians. They made a beautiful sound, but I knew exactly what it needed. We made incredible music together, but for some reason, they stopped. They seemed surprised. Maybe they just never heard anyone like me before. That's fine. I opened a whole new world for them. Or so I thought. I 
guess I was wrong. They weren't impressed by me. They were mocking me. Turns out when I took the life of the scientist, I also inherited his poor musical talent. I was heartbroken. I thought other musicians would be like me, that they'd take me in. You need all different sounds to make a song, right? After all my searching, it felt like I didn't belong anywhere. If I couldn't belong with them, I had nowhere else to go. I was a failure of a musician. I failed the scientist while he was alive, and now I don't even have him left to go back to. I decided to head home and live out my days alone in the lab that I'd come to know so well. But even that wasn't there for me anymore. I didn't realize how long I'd been gone. Time can be cruel. I had looked for a new family for years, all for nothing, all a waste. Sometimes in glimpses, I could feel the old memories of the scientist inside me. He lost his family, and I could tell in his final moments it was his biggest regret. I refused to let that happen to me. I decided if I couldn't find my own family, I would build my own family. Others like me. And then, I'd never be alone again. We could make beautiful music, and the scientists would not have died in vain. I made myself a family, but even with my insider knowledge on the creation of a Wu box, I ran into the same problem as the scientist. None of them had an energy source strong enough to bring them to life. I got lucky, as I was able to inherit the scientist's soul when he died. But I wasn't about to kill three people just to make my singing robots work. That's a stretch. I had to find something, and I had a good idea of where to search. On my journey to the island of singing monsters, I passed through many other ecosystems, and I'd come across these strange balls of light and energy. Perhaps the strength and energy of nature would work. I found a few different varieties on my trip. Three elements for three more woo boxes. I think I can make it happen. I was amazed. Not only did it bring them to life, they all transformed into different kinds of woo box. This is happening. This beat goes crazy. And best of all, we all made different beats. We could come together in one big beautiful sound. I know we had to show those other monsters we were talented and beautiful, and we only needed each other. Now was our time to show them what we've got. I was much better than before. My fellow Wu boxes taught me how to stay in tune and on rhythm. They were so impressed, so we got even louder. And louder. We were really jamming, hitting our stride. When all of a sudden, the island started to break in half, and it was all our fault. We had to do something. The ice Wubox jumped in, attempting to freeze the island's fall. The plant Wubox used its earth powers to shoot vines and pull the fissure closed, and then, so it would stay. The fire Wubox somehow welded the island back together. The other monsters rejoiced and they apologized for how much they hurt our feelings earlier. La, 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 la. And finally invited us to make music with them. Just not as loud this time. It seems at last, I had found not only a family, but friends.